Hey guys, I'm Victoria Campos and this is A Day in My Life. Good morning. Welcome to my crib. So, I'm just gonna show you guys how I start my day. Apple cider vinegar. It's a little combination. Turmeric. This is like the real deal from India. I like to start the day with a good dose while my um, while on an empty stomach. Last one, to make it taste a little bit better. A bit of honey, honey. I like big breakfast in the morning. So eggs, egg whites. Turkey breast, bagel, oats. Yeah, you see. I do RP. I've been doing RP for like two years now. So, yeah, I do weight and measurement. My breakfast has been the same for a year now. <laughs> and I love it. I wouldn't change it. You're a creature of habit. I am. I am. Uh, especially like with my food and training and, you know. I just know what works now, and I just just keep doing. Why change? Uh, today, I think the kids will be at the gym. The kids. Mayhem, mayhem justice. Uh, I'm not sure if they have team training, but uh, hopefully we can train together. Brazilian coffee. Um, yeah, just make it myself. Yeah, every time I go home, I get some of these goodies. Is it better up. than American coffee? Sorry, yes, it is. <laughs> I get my eating done and then I just journal a little bit. More like in the morning, I just try to write down, try to remember my dreams and track it down. Um, I have this, it's like a journal, but it's like mainly safe for girls <laughs> uh, to track my cycle and stuff like that. So I daily I put how I felt, you know, on the day before or, or today, how I woke up, how I'm feeling. I just track um, everything. Just knowing myself, like with this, Tracking my cycle, tracking how I feel, depending on you know the time of the month for me. Um, so I know exactly how I'm feeling. How I'm not exactly, but like I, I keep track. You know, I know more or less when I'm gonna feel a little bit more, you know, extrovert or introvert. Like you know, or when I'm gonna be a little bit more tired, or when I'm gonna be a little bit more like doing everything or things like that. Um, there is a way to kind of, you know, track yourself. And then, yes, I do a lot of mindset work. I've been working with um, um, Mayhem Mindset guys, Jim and Taylor. Um, and that's helped my mental side a lot as well. He goes on to his first final of his career. Right here at Soccer Emma. Really, really cool. The rookie. Hell yeah! Where, where all have you lived besides Brazil? Um, New Zealand, Hong Kong, China, China, actually, all the way around, and Hawaii. Right into a bottom turn and combos it up for yeah, the finish. and here, Cookville. Speed, power, flow. No Tennessee. Oh, oh, he's gonna fly. Hell yeah! Oh, <laughs> A little pre-workout carbs. Carbs, yeah. Those will keep me alive throughout the session. Mornings are a long session, so I do 40 grams of carbs. 
protein, a bit of collagen, and creatine. Can for that. Sour patch. Big sour patch girl. Oh yeah. All right, what's next? We get to the gym and crush the day. Morning session. Yeah, you like the noise? Look at this. You, get you, a need, sports car. you need to get it rolling for a little bit. You have to let um, it warm up. Yeah, so that's the time I usually check my message or, you know, check the workout of the day. <laughs> um, just to let it heat up a little bit. I usually pick a song too, and it's literally one song. Because there isn't like time for anything else. You just gotta make sure it's the right one. Yeah. To get you pumped. To hit the gym. <laughs> Let's go! track kills my legs there's lunges and handstand walk but we did a workout with lunges yesterday so no way I'm lunging again so just sex Jake no way I'm lunging today um, ask him what's up you running more often yeah I'm working on my run uh, we're running at least two to three times a week twice in the track once in a workout. It's good, I need to work on that. Hello. Thinking about the, mm. what they did. So I'm Ooh, thinking echo handstand. What up, kid? Day in the life. Well, she was late today, so that's a true day in the life. <laughs> she was talking about your surfing game. My surfing game? What? Come did on, man. I did not. <laughs> She said she said she couldn't take on them five footers. <laughs> okay, Vic. No, she actually rips. I, I can't rip like Vic. <laughs> like you said, today is wake surfing, so the waves are gonna be like one footers. <laughs> I'm going to the game, so I gotta train. You know, yeah. I, I don't know about you. All right, all right. Are you gonna Vic, how is it training with members of Team Mayhem Justice? It's awesome. I love it. I kick their butts every session. Oh. oh. Listen to this. It's, it's good. It's a good balance. We're all good at different stuff and we push each other. It's, it's cool. What's your nickname for Victoria? Grandma. <laughs> I think Anderson's the one who actually started calling her that. I really don't remember why, but it just kind of stuck. So she's Grandma. She's Grandma and you guys are? <laughs> she calls us kids. <laughs> she, she always calls me every single time. Hey, kid. Seriously, one day, I started because one day I was on the biker and Seth was crossing the gym and I was like, Seth! Oh, I remember And he that. didn't revive. I was like, Seth! He didn't and I was like, yo, kid! And he's like... <laughs> and smile and I was like, oh, there it is. This is a kid. Yeah. Everybody loves a grandma, so... Yeah. Um, we're doing a slightly different stuff. We're both on the echo, but then I'm doing handstand walk, double obstacle, and they're doing double unders instead. We're still training together. This is the weirdest <laughs> shit ever. This doesn't happen. She smells like that. This is not a day in life. What are you making? No. I don't, I don't know. Uh, uh, you smell like. Why are they smelling you? I don't know. Face oil. Mm. I don't know. It smells so good. <gasps>
haven't done the rep in a long time. Snatch lift off. Power snatch. One inch. One inch. One inch. One inch. One inch. One inch. <laughs> How do you say it? Inch. Inch. Yeah. What did I say? Inch. Oh. <laughs> what do you say? Inch. Inch. Yeah. One inch. Yeah. Make no. video, Bennett. Make video. Bennett's make video all day. <laughs> Bennett's make video all day. All right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that guy? See the drippy, I fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No breaks, we go, 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 go. Throw shade, that's a no, no, no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Too many blisters from the bag. Actually, from this morning session. Just too many. Back it up. That was a grind. It was a pull on pull. It's just grind work. It's good. Pack boards, I like them. It's good to do touch and goes and and then doing all the pulling and see how it goes again back on the pack. It was hard, but doable. Uh, home, lunch, rest a little bit, recover, come back. Yeah. I don't know why, but I love doing this. Yeah. I'll prep my food on Sundays. Um, I'll have like main beef, main turkey, or chicken done. And I'll just do a bunch, and then I do a bunch of rice and some veggies. Does this stuff help? Yeah, it helps with your blood flow. It's a good recovery. I love my life. <laughs> I love doing this. And it's not as easy as people think. Um, there is, I mean, when you commit to it, you know, there's the whole, you're training for a purpose. Like I was training for the semifinals, you know, it's, there's some pressure that goes on and, um, it's surreal. It's it is stressful, you know. But I chose this. I love it. I love doing this. Um, but it's not easy. I hate when people say, "Oh, it's easy." Like I was in Brazil, and then I had people like I met a lot of the Brazilians competitors, and even one of them was like, "Oh, it's easy for you. You're you're there, at you know, out outside of Brazil, and you know." The sponsors are better and everything and I'm like girl it's not easy you know like I invested in my one for one I invested in myself going moving to Cookville my setup wasn't easy like you know I had to set up I didn't have a car I didn't have a house it was a struggle for me like for a little while until I get on my feet and you know everything starts working I would do it all over again no doubts, yeah. you know, I would go for it all over. No. Uh, we go back to the gym. Second session. It's 2.30. 
Um, I'm gonna hit a couple workouts before we hit the water. Let's go. Caused me to save it and risk getting like injured or something. Um, the it's bag. not, yeah, it's not worth it. We headed. We're going wake surf. Um, I forgot the name of the lake. How'd you meet this guy? Instagram. Uh, I saw a Mastercraft boat on this, like, with a truck on the street, and I, I took a, a video, put on my Instagram story. I was like. Somewhat, somebody take me out for wake surfing and then this guy messaged me he's like let's go and I'm like all right let's go and I met them and we went and they're super cool people um, I'm really glad I met them oh. Nick, when's the last time you were on the water um it was actually a month ago a week before I go to Brazil for the semifinals. We went wake surfing. You're kind of a pro in the water, aren't you? <laughs> Not a pro, but I, I can, you know. You can shred, can shred the shred gnar. A bit, yeah. In Hong Kong, I coach wake surfing. I drive boats as well there. Um, it's fun. I like, I like being in the water. Oh, good to see you. Oh, wow. so proud. Thank you. It is a legit boat. I'm excited. Oh, nice. It's the same boat, same company that uh, we use in Hong Kong. So I'm really comfortable. I love this wake. It's oh, very, so it, it, very familiar. It does a specific kind of wake for you to surf? Yeah. It, every boat has a little, has its own wake. Um, I'm super used to this one. I'm very familiar. I love it. God, it's going to be funny. I can't wait to watch their faces. <laughs> Top from, from best to worst. Um, actually, I think Jess gonna do really well. She's just like fearless. Um, then Aniston, and then Kenzie, and then Seth is a. Seth's gonna do shit. Nick. What'd you what? say, Vic? We saw a tiny baby. What'd you say? It's gonna be 
Uh, how do we say that? They, turbulence? Turbulence. <laughs> turbulence. There's gonna be turbulence. Okay, you're just gonna have to hang on, lean against the bowl. Like, lean it and press the legs down so you're not too wobbly. Okay, you're doing so good. Yeah, hold it. I could do this every day. I'm not even joking. As long as there's better seats in that boat. <laughs> Who's the grandma now? <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. It was it was really cool like to show you guys like the stuff You're that I do in the water. Thank you. Very yeah. good. Appreciate yeah. it. Uh, next, let's go home and eat, 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 and then eat oh, some more. <laughs> Lots of eating. <laughs> Having those wake surf sessions like once a week or even twice sometimes, it just boosts me up to like, you know, train even harder because I know I'll have some fun. I might skip a workout, but I'm gonna have so much fun and it gets, it just gets me happy and smiley and, and then it's good, it's good for the heart, you yeah. know? Like CrossFit, I love it because it's like, there's all sports in one sport, mm -hmm. right? You have gymnastics, you have weightlifting, you have everything. All the stuff going on. Um, but it also gets you ready to like do all their stuff outside the gym, you know? Like um, some people like mountain biking, surfing, football, or whatever, whatever that is. I just find like, it's, it's a waste to just stay in one mm -hmm. circle, you know? I just, I love exploring and playing different sports. <clears throat> just, I don't know, just think, think it's a waste if you're just doing one thing. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of food in the fridge, meal prep done, but I'm going to cook a little bit. It's going to make fish tacos. It's Taco Tuesday, so let's go a little bit different today. Do you normally eat this late? No. Um, I'm usually done eating by 8.30. And it's 8.30 now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go for another 10. Completely different. So an avocado in Brazil would be like, this all the way up to my head, like to the fingertips. That's awesome. um, this is very, very small. So that's what keeps it from going brown? Yeah, just put a little bit of lime to it. It won't go brown. So I'll eat the other half tomorrow. So. It's tr truffle aioli. Mm. Perfect. It's alright. It's all in the belly. A couple more years to come, compete, um, and then after that, I'm not so sure. I'm definitely gonna stay on the industry, like crossfitting and probably wake surfing or even real surfing. Anything you just see yourself doing stuff with people? Yeah, it's yeah. I can't see myself like say in an office, you know, or yeah. I'm a really out, I'm an outside, I'm a people person. Uh, all right, y'all, <laughs> this is it for today. <laughs> I'm gonna have my dinner now uh, and then get ready for bed. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, here's my Instagram if you wanna follow and see how the day in the life of Vicky. Thank you for watching.